Hi everyone, Andrew Thomas from Thomas Wines on the Aussie Wine TV channel. I just want to have a quick um, review, if you like, of the 2011 vintage, um, which we've only just finished a couple of months ago. And um, despite all the reports you may have heard about the 2011 vintage across Australia, the Hunter Valley has actually had an absolute cracker. Um, we certainly were looking down the barrel of uh, what you could probably describe as a challenging vintage. We quite often do get some summer rainfall up, up here. Um, but this year um, we had a, one of the wettest springs on record and all the forecasts were suggesting that it was going to be very wet in January and February, which is right in the middle of our harvest period. Fortunately, um, Christmas last year, moving forward, we didn't get a drop of rain through the whole of vintage and uh, we ended up getting all the fruit nicely ripe. We had a nice long, slow ripening period and you know, it all time will tell, but possibly we've had one of the best vintages for uh, up here in the Hunter Valley for a very long time. So everyone's really excited. So uh, look, we normally start picking uh, here on the Hunter with our Semions. They're generally the, one of the first varieties to come off. Generally, we're starting the middle of January, but this year, um, because of the, the, the cooler, wetter spring, vintage was delayed by a couple of weeks. Um, so. Uh, as I say, uh, when we started picking Semillon, we had lovely ripe fruit. In fact, the week that we picked most of our Semillon was actually quite hot. Um, Semillon needs to be hand-picked, well, premium quality Semillon needs to be hand-picked. And uh, we could really only send the pickers out there until 11 or 12 o'clock in the day to try and avoid the heat of the afternoon. But we got uh, all the Semillon off during that, that fairly warm week and it was all in beautiful condition and uh, lovely ripe flavours, probably um, stylistically um, slightly riper than usual, um, slightly more generous, slightly plumper fruit, but they've still got that lovely core of acid. So not only will they be great drinking as young wines, um, the best of them will have great longevity too. So we're pretty excited. So luckily for us, all the varieties don't ripen at exactly the same time. There is a bit of a, um, it's, it's kind of a madhouse through vintage, but there is a bit of a progression um, through the varieties. Um, we start with Semillon, um, Vidello, Chardonnay, generally all the whites are out of the way before we need to start on the reds. And again, um, if we had uh, the rain that was forecast, it could have been a disaster, but um, all the reds ripened up beautifully. We've got lovely, intense, concentrated fruit characters in that red and, and uh, blue dark berry end of the spectrum. Hunter Valley Shiraz, we don't make big full bodied styles, we make lovely medium bodied food friendly styles and we achieved all those flavours beautifully. Um, the wines are still um, in barrel, uh, they need a fair bit of time to mature properly for the tannins to soften. We'll look at uh, bottling uh, the reds towards the middle of next year, 2012. Um, but by all accounts they're looking very smart too. So. Uh, do yourself a favour, Hunter Valley Semillon and Shiraz from the 2011 Vintage, they're crackers.